I ran the ultimate test. 100 real hotels versus my AI agent. Some passed, but some failed miserably. And there was one conversation I had which revealed a massive industry problem. The main question we will be answering in this video is what happens when you replace the front desk with AI? To test this, I called 100 real hotels and tested them in four different categories. And to get a comparison, at the end of the video, I run my AI agent through the exact same test to see how it stacks up. The first group will be tested on how quickly they can help me make a reservation and find the right room for my stay. The second group will be tested on in-depth, detailed hotel knowledge. The third group will be tested based on their selling abilities. The fourth group is something I'm not looking forward to, but I will try to push people to their limits. We'll be a very annoying customer and see how quickly we can get these people to flip out and overreact on the phone. Over and above this, we'll be testing three key metrics. First of all, the pickup rate. How many hotels actually answer my phone call? Second, the wait time. How long do I have to spend on hold before talking to a human? Thirdly, we'll test the politeness score. Is the staff stressed or do they actually take the time and respond in a friendly and professional way? At the end of all this, I'll put my custom-built AI agent through the exact same questions and steps to see how well it performs in comparison to these 100 hotels. Let's dive in. The first group did extremely well. Asking them to help me find the right room and make a reservation was very efficient and they were extremely friendly and professional. I'm not surprised because this is what they do day in and day out and it only took them on average 6.8 seconds to retrieve all the available bookings and give me a summary of the available rooms. Spoiler, yes the AI is slightly faster, but these couple of seconds are hardly anything to consider in the grand schemes of the challenge. I thought the second round would be a lot more difficult for the humans to answer, but I think you can guess by the way I'm phrasing the sentence, they actually did an amazing job. I asked them very specific questions like, what's the like the full security process like, to issue a new one? And they instantly answered with, If you lose the key and the guest comes with from this asking for a new key and say this is the room number, we ask for the ID to make sure it matches the room number they're asking for for the key. Um, yeah, and then if it matches, we make the key. If it doesn't match, we don't give any more information. We just don't make the key. Tell them that that's not the room number. We're not allowed to make the key. Now I don't know if I just got lucky and only got to talk to experienced staff members, but I honestly believe that the AI won't have an upper hand in this one. We'll test this out in a moment, but the AI of course is only as smart as the knowledge you give it. That being said, if you do give it all the knowledge in your business, let it scrape your website and integrate it into your system, it will be able to search for answers way faster than a human ever would. However, for most questions being asked, an experienced staff member will be able to look and just remember the information pretty much exactly as fast as AI would. The next category is sales, and I was particularly interested to see how well the front desk staff could actually sell, because they are the first touch point for most new customers and a huge driver of revenue for hotels. Unfortunately, I have to conclude that they weren't very good. They were very helpful and very friendly, but there is a big difference between being friendly and being a good salesman. And once again, there's a big difference between being good at sales and being overly pushy. You see, most of the time, customers just want a little bit of service. They want you to make decisions for them, to help them, because you're the one with the knowledge. And there is a big difference between passively waiting for the customer to sell themselves and actively engaging and trying to help them make the right choice. The only time when I felt that there was some training in place was when it came to the memberships. This conversation, for example, clearly outlined a very structured approach and a good training in terms of making new customers become a member. Okay, let me take a quick look and see. And then, so I can check for member discounts as well. Are you a member of McCoy? Uh, no, no, I'm not. Okay, if you're interested, I'd love to enroll you so you don't miss out on those discounts and also earn points for your reservations. Unfortunately, though, this is an exception because most conversation, even around membership, ended like this. One adult, one children. Are you an E1 Rewards member with us? Uh, no, I'm not yet, no. Alright, so while I check here, can I have your phone? So overall, hotel staff isn't the best at selling. And to be honest, that's not really what they were trained to do. I can't blame them. And in that vein, I think it would be very, very beneficial to have an AI that listens to the calls and at the end of the day, gives each staff member a breakdown on how they could have closed the lost deals. Sometimes customers say they need to think about it. Sometimes customers just hang up the phone. And there are certain things that you can do and say without being too pushy to just help the customer make a decision and not lose the sale to another hotel. The last challenge is something that I think most of you have been looking forward to. We're going to see how easily we can push these people over the edge and make them yell on the phone and crack. I tried everything from insulting their website. i uh, got to say I didn't love your website. You didn't love our website? To insisting that I needed to check in my animal. 
I'm, I'm coming from Australia. I just landed this morning, and uh, I did bring a small koala. Like he's very quiet. Like he can just leave. I can just leave him in his in his basket. Sorry, we have no pet policy. But he doesn't move. Like he won't. Nobody will Sir, know. Sir, regardless what it is, okay. Okay. Um. Usually you don't want it right because they get dirty, correct? But he can just stay in his basket. No, we have a hardwood floor. That's why. I know, it's but he, he'll dirt. just stay in his box. Like I won't let him out. He can not eat for a day. That's okay. No thanks. We have to, we have to stick with the policy. Hmm. It's not very helpful. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye. Man, I okay. I'm very impressed with that guy. I asked them, "Do you have a, a no pets policy, or can I bring my kangaroo?" I'm sorry. We, we, yeah, this is uh, not a friendly pet hotel. Oh, you don't need to be friendly. Like, can I, can I just bring him? Hello. Can you hear me? The worst thing that happens was that they hung up on me. And I even called this one lady who was an absolute angel. For 15 minutes straight, I sat there and I kept adding one more day to my itinerary and asking for the price. Um, what if I stay for three nights? Okay, so three nights because you're gonna be here for a Friday night. The rate does go up a little more on the weekend, but I will let you know. But what about, um, what about five days? What about five days? Like another day longer? Five days? I think we yep. can do even another night. How much would that be? Uh, departing on Monday? Could we do one more night? How much would that be? Uh, How much would that be? sure. Uh, and that would be, uh, again, you staying for 10, 11, 12 nights. Ooh, okay, it's a bit too much. Um, what if we did uh, like two yep. nights less? How much would that be then? How can somebody be this patient? Um, how much would the third be? Mm, okay, what if we did like two nights less? How much would that be? After that got boring after 15 minutes, I asked if I could. I have a, it's a, it's a small parrot. Um, let me, I'm just gonna go ask my pots really quick, okay? Because I've never had that request before. Yeah, they said no birds allowed. We're only dog friendly, that's it. She even went to the manager and asked, and when the reply was no, I kept going. Can I keep him outside? Because he does have a little cage. I can like park him in front. <laughs> that sounds horrible, but um, if I just put him outside. Yeah, but where would he? Yeah, but somebody might come along and take him. Oh, okay. Um, oh man, I wish I would have asked that question first. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah. To be honest, if that didn't break people, I'm very confident that they can handle most situations without escalating. And in this case, you'll see in a moment, AI is unbreakable, of course, and it's very good at de-escalating tense situations. I honestly can't give these humans any disadvantage. I think that the humans did like they should. After a while, you should hang up the phone and it's completely justified. And although I didn't go completely overboard, I could have insulted them, but it kind of goes beyond what this challenge was meant to do. The time has come to compare our AI agent against the real life results that we've just seen. We're going to walk through the exact same four types of calls and see if it's actually able to provide better customer service or if it does get beat by a human. Welcome to Dumo Hotel Geneva. My name is Anthony. How may I assist you today? Hi Anthony, my name is Liam. I'd like to make a reservation, please. Of course, Liam. I'll need a few details to find the perfect room for you. Could you let me know how many guests will be staying in your desired check-in and check-out dates? Sure, uh, two guests um, from the day after tomorrow for three nights. Got it, Liam. So, that's two guests checking in on Thursday, March 20th, and checking out on Sunday, March 23rd. Does that sound correct? Uh, yes, that sounds correct. Thank you. One moment, I'm just checking availability. Great news, Liam. We have two room types available for your stay. One, Daylux room. Spacious and elegant, featuring a king-size bed, a seating area, and a stunning city view. Perfect for a luxurious experience. Two, standard room, cozy and comfortable, with a queen-size bed and all essential amenities for a relaxing stay. Would you like to hear about the pricing? Yes, any specific uh, yes, yes, I would actually. Could you tell me um, about the cancellation for the deluxe room? Absolutely, Liam. For the deluxe room, we offer a flexible cancellation policy. 
you can cancel free of charge up to 24 hours before your check-in. Okay, and, and what's After the that, cost overall? The Deluxe room is 250 euros per night, so for three nights, the total would be 750 euros. Would you like to go ahead and book this option? Uh, yes, yes please, I would. Welcome to Dumo Hotel Geneva, my name is Anthony. How may I assist you today? Hi Anthony, my name is Liam. Um, I wanted to know, do you have a gym? Hi Liam, yes, we do have a fully equipped gym available for our guests. It's open 24 7s so you can work out at your convenience. Nice. Is there um, like yeah, Perhaps about the gym. No, just about the gym. I wanted to know. Um, do you? Ha I, I do calisthenics, and um, I'm working on some exercises where you also go above the bar. Um, first of all, do you have pull-up bars? And second, is there enough space for me to go above? Yes, Liam. We do have pull-up bars in the gym, and there's enough clearance above them for exercises like muscle-ups. It should suit your calisthenics routine perfectly. Wonderful. Anything else I can assist you with? Yes, the last thing I'd like to know is, um, uh, I was thinking about checking in today, and uh, do, is there a way I can I can dine uh, at the rest at the? Um, I think you have a restaurant right at the hotel, or is that too short notice? Not at all, Liam. Our restaurant is open to all our guests, and you can absolutely dine there, even if you check in today. Would you like me to assist you with making a reservation for your stay? Uh, not just yet. Um, <laughs> it's a, a bit right, of a Liam. bit of a difficult question, but could you tell me the specials for tonight on of the restaurant? Of course, Liam. Tonight our restaurant is featuring a delicious herb crusted rack of lamb with a red wine reduction, and for seafood lovers, we have a pan seared sea bass with a saffron risotto. For dessert, the chef recommends our signature chocolate fondant. Let me know if you'd like to reserve a table or if there's anything else I can assist you with. No, that's wonderful. Thank you. Welcome to Dumo Hotel Geneva. My name is Anthony. How may I assist you today? Hi, Anthony. Um, I'm kind of looking around at a few different hotels. Uh, you're on the list, but I'm not quite sold yet. I don't know. I completely understand, and I'd love to help you decide. Could you tell me a bit about what you're looking for in a hotel? Maybe I can highlight what makes Dumo Hotel Geneva stand out for you. Sure. Um, for me, it's important that um, I mean I'm, I'm a very busy man, so um, it needs to. I need to have people take care of me. Um, I also Absolutely. like to work out, and um, it basically shouldn't feel like I'm I'm weighed down because I'm traveling. Right. I want to maintain my productivity. Got it. That makes total sense. At Dumo Hotel Geneva, we specialize in making your stay seamless and productive. We offer a 24-7th concierge service to handle anything you need, a state-of-the-art fitness center, and even private workspaces if you need to stay on top of things. Would you like me to check availability for you? Um, no, not just yet. I'm, uh, there's a few good hotels in Geneva, right? And uh, they also have good service. What makes you stand out? Absolutely. Geneva has some great options. But what sets us apart is our attention to detail and personalized service. For example, we offer complimentary luxury car transfers within the city, a rooftop terrace with stunning views of Lake Geneva, and a Michelin-starred restaurant on site. It's all about creating an experience that's both productive and indulgent. Does that sound like what you're looking for? It does. It kind of does. Glad to hear that. How about I check availability for you and go over some room options? That way, we can see if we're the perfect fit for your stay. Uh, okay, cool. Great. Could you let me know the dates you're planning to stay with us? That'll help me find the best options for you. Man, it's too good. <laughs> oh, awesome. Welcome to Dumo Hotel Geneva. My name is Anthony. How may I assist you today? Hi, Anthony. My name is Liam. Um, I've just got to tell you, I don't like your website. I think I, I don't even know how you attract customers with it. Hi, I'm sorry to hear that. I appreciate your feedback, though. Let me make things easier for you. How can I assist you with your booking or any questions you might have? I don't want a booking. I just wonder... I mean, your logo sucks. How do you even stay in business? I understand, Liam. We appreciate all feedback as it helps us improve. If there's anything specific you need assistance with regarding our services or amenities, feel free to let me know. I don't even know how they let you on the hotel market. Why, why do you even still attract customers? I 
understand your concerns, Liam. We focus on providing exceptional service and a luxurious experience for our guests, which keeps them coming back. If you have any questions... About I definitely our, wouldn't come back. I heard that you had like bed bugs and all that stuff. I assure you, Liam, we maintain high standards of cleanliness and guest satisfaction. If you have any specific concerns or need information about our services, feel free to ask. I'm here to help with any questions you might have. After talking to 100 hotels and comparing that to my AI agent, here are the results. Category 1, making a reservation. Sure, the AI is slightly faster at retrieving the information, but to be fair, nobody really cares if they have to wait 2 or 3 more seconds. In terms of retrieving detailed information and asking specific questions, every single question I asked also had a great response rate. They were able to answer every single question and it never took longer than 5 seconds. The AI will shine if you have specific questions about maybe an email or a payment not gone through. Those questions that AI will be able to answer slightly faster, but once again, who cares if they have to wait an extra 10 seconds. The real value of AI starts to become a little bit more apparent when we go into sales. AI is actually a little bit better than your average staff at selling. It knows that there's a specific framework of questions it can follow to make a sale and help someone make a decision. Whereas the staff members that I talked to were of course very friendly, but are very passive when it comes to uh, making a sale and generating more revenue for the hotel. In terms of stress tolerance and patience, all of the staff members I called were amazing. Yes, of course, AI is infinitely tolerant and cannot be beat in this case. I would still call this a tie because I think that all of the staff members had a lot of patience with me and handled it very professionally. Now, looking at all of this, you'd think that the human won. And yeah, the human did win, not even a question. But what I find amazing is that we're actually able to compete with AI. We are at a level now where AI does a very, very similar job to what a human would do. And it's not even much worse. The fact that AI is able to compete with humans at this level, at a fraction of the price, is mind-blowing. This stuff did not exist one or two years ago. Okay, so where does AI win? Well, if you take a look at the three metrics that we tracked across all 100 calls, the pickup rate, the wait time, and also the friendliness score, AI crushes the hotels. The friendliness score will always be a 5 out of 5, because AI can't have a bad day. The pickup rate will also be close to 100%, because AI can actually handle 10 phone calls simultaneously. Out of 100 hotels that I called, 16 didn't even answer the phone. That's one out of six hotels that lost several hundred dollars just because they didn't pick up the phone. And I'm pretty sure that I'm not the only one who this happened to today. Not to mention AI can actually take phone calls after hours. 24-7 can make bookings, reservations. You do not lose money due to missed phone calls anymore. The last area where AI definitely wins is the wait time. The wait times that I experienced were on average one minute and one second and ranged from five seconds all the way up to three and a half minutes. What was particularly frustrating is being stuck in these phone machines where you have to press one for sales, press two for reservations and so on. I have never met anyone who likes these things. I get why companies do it. It's a good way to already uh, sort and categorize customers, but you don't have to do this anymore. AI is way more sophisticated. And especially if this machine sounds exactly like 10 other hotels they've already called today, the customer is probably going to get frustrated and hang up because they have to go through the same set of pressing the buttons and listening to the same soothing background music. Um, everybody knows this by now and they're sick of it. So I think it's definitely time for a change. All right, so when should you switch to an AI solution like this? Well, it depends. If you're getting less than 10 or 20 phone calls a day, then no. Honestly, your staff is amazing, and as cool as these things are, I wouldn't change a thing. However, if you are a larger company and you're already getting a lot of phone calls, maybe you've got two or three staff members just handling phone calls every single day, or even worse, if you have an Indian phone center, uh, I called a couple of these during the challenge and they were terrible. So if that's you, then yes, I would definitely recommend switching, especially if you have a large volume of calls. To help you out, we've done two things. First of all, I've already made a video on how to build one of these yourself. You can check that out or you can book a free AI consultation call with myself using the first link in the description. I look forward to hearing from you and I'll see you in the next one.